Websites and web portals that provide web services commonly use simple object access protocol, SOAP. Which of the following is an incorrect def uh, definition of the characteristics of the protocol, only compatible with application protocol? Um, so you guys have never had to deal with this. What happens with source code that tends to confuse a lot of people is When you start looking at XML, everything is going to be label data. If it's family, are you guys seeing how XML works? The reason that you use XML is because XML becomes a way for you to transmit data and becomes a way for computers to really easily read data that it's ingesting. So you put this over HTTP and then now I can send data. And because we agree that this is how the data is going to look, it's really, really easy for us to have a computer read it because he always knows label data. You see it? Yep. And now he always knows where it stops. Here's Amazon. You want to talk to Amazon. If you go to Amazon and you go to buy a book, I want to go buy the Da Vinci Code. Okay, so I go, I buy the Da Vinci Code. Now, when I wanna buy the book, I decide that I wanna go to all these sellers down here that sell the book cheaper. So I click here, and now I get the list of all these people who are selling the book, right? So now, is it possible that some of these guys' servers can be running Linux, some can be running Windows? Is that possible? Quite likely, right? So you got all these people all over the world running completely different programming languages, completely different operating systems, completely different database structures. So what happens is around the world, we agree that when we move data, we will use either XML or JSON. So what happens is it just becomes a way for us to promise how we're going to move data. So when you look at JSON, what are you noticing? How do you know what's the beginning? There's the label. And then what? There's the data. How do you know it's the end? There's a semicolon. So these apps that use web services are either going to be REST or JSON, uh, excuse me, REST or SOAP based. SOAP is one way of transferring this data. REST is another way of transferring this data. It's, it's a transfer medium over HTTP. And this is what the data looks like. So now I want you guys to walk, walk through this with me. Walk through this with me. There we go. Okay. JSON or XML, what am I looking at? It's XML. Good. Okay. Amazon treats everything like a warehouse. So when you go into the warehouse, warehouses have what? Yeah, bins, yes. Okay. Now, as you're walking and you're looking at all the bins in the warehouse, what do you have? A label on the bin. Yeah. There you go. Then what? Remember, I was in that bin. Okay, so this is how I keep inventory, huh? My store, I'm like, okay, in this bin, I've got 30 DVDs. In this bin of, of this movie, Matrix, I've got 25 DVDs. Now, what can you do? Search in the bin? Yeah. And when I'm searching, I can... Narrow the search, I guess? Yeah, so you can narrow the search. And since it's a string, that means you can type. Like, let's say you're looking in movies and you want to type the kind of movie you want to look up. I can search multiple what? Multiple bins. There you go. Okay, now what about when I connect? When I connect, I can log in with my what? Essentially your subscription ID, yes. Uh-huh, and my... What do they give you to get in there, the access key? Uh-huh. Associate tag is basically a username. They treat it like, well, here's my name tag. You, you see it? Mm-hmm. And then make sure it's right. Validating. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Now, 
when we get into the different things with um, data for the, we call this metadata, okay? What are the things that we're gonna track about the items in the bins? Everything's in there, yeah. What's the brand, what's the author? Yep. Uh-huh. You seeing it, guys? Uh-huh. So now, if my store, if my store where I'm selling the Da Vinci Code book, my store is written in Java. What they're telling me is, hey man, when you write your store in Java, you need to make sure this is how you report your inventory to me. And then the other guy goes, hey, if I write my store in Python, then you go, hey man, I don't care. This is how you report your inventory to me. You're either gonna use what? XML. Or? Okay, so. And now SOAP is the method to transfer that data. So inside of HTTP, SOAP and REST are the two methods used to transfer XML or JSON data. It's just a component of HTTP. How many of you guys are shocked that you can actually read the XML, huh? Definitely get an idea of what's going on, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's not that bad, huh? It's not that bad. So this is called an API. API. People go, well, we have to do API integration. This is what they're talking about. If I want to integrate my store with Amazon, Amazon tells me how to talk to them. If I want to integrate with VirusTotal, now is VirusTotal XML or JSON? Looks like JSON to me. Good job. Because now you guys can see it's always going to be one or the other, isn't it? So what they're saying is, hey man, when you make your connection, send me your what? Your API key. Yep. Uh-huh. And then send me your data. This is him sending that ICAR test. That's him sending it. So he sends the ICAR test. Then he sends an MD5 of it. Once you send that to VirusTotal, VirusTotal's response is a 200 OK, OK, response code. And then what? Yeah, all the results. Uh-huh, and the results come back as the scan ID, the SHA, the resource, the resource code, the scan date, a link if you want to come back to it later. You see it? A verbose message, a SHA-256, how many positives, you know, like out of how many virus engines? They give you back your MD5. And now you can see each antivirus engine. So this is an antivirus engine. And then here's the data from it. This is an antivirus engine. And then here's the data from it. It's a lot simpler than you think, huh? Not too bad. So if I'm, if I'm talking to Amazon, XML or JSON? XML. If I'm talking to VirusTotal, XML or JSON? JSON. Now, does it, if you kind of take a step back and now you look at it, is it a little easier for you to figure out what's going on? Yep. Yeah, like you can, you can look at it and be like, okay, so I submit it and then he gives me back the results. And no matter what, it's always label data, label data, label data. Pretty easy? Yeah. Okay, so now what if they say they want to do virus total API in Java? Here's him writing the code to talk to it. When it comes back, it's still going to come back as JSON. No one cares what language you use to send that data. So you can come from any platform, you can come from any language. That's the reason why APIs are so powerful. So do you see here how he wrote a catcher's mitt for it? This is a catcher's mitt for what's coming back. The MD5, the what? The permalink, you see it? The resource. And then for each one, he's like print out MD5, colon, tab, that's what the T is, and then report dot what? Get the MD5. Yeah. Get the permalink. <laughs> Basically, yeah, grab all the information. 
Yeah. Not that bad, huh, guys? Mm. What you know what you're looking for? Yeah, and I think it's just one of those things. Like, if you really do this all day, you'd be surprised how quick you pick it up. 